Julia Hartley Brewer, hello. Hello. It's lovely to have you in my studio. I know, normally you're in my studio. (laughs) I'm ridiculously excited about this. I've been boring my friends and my husband, witless, going, oh, but this one, oh, but I love this one. But don't you find there are songs that you love? You know, if you're in a club or songs you love, that's a great driving song. Oh, that's a, oh, I've just been dumped by my boyfriend song. There are songs for different moments. And even just artists, well, you've got to have a George Michael track. Well, which one? Early 80s, late 80s. And the weather, some days when it's sunny, you think, oh, this song would work totally. better. It's, it's, it's a totally. minefield, but isn't it's been it? so much fun going <laughs> through. I sat there with you know with Spotify, sat there with eighties playlists, listening to Virgin Radio, eighties plus, and going, oh, oh no, I've got to put that one. But if I put that one on, I have to take that one off. A, a star for the but, effort. Thank you say, so much. Genuinely, we finalised the list about a minute ago. <laughs> We've got the final one here. Got it. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go. First track on your list is oh, yeah. this is one of the best. Love this dance tracks from the 80s isn't it so go on candy staten you've got the love i i think it i think it's actually physically impossible not to dance when this track is on i think we should make that the law yes. if that track comes on the radio you are required to dance <laughs> you're driving stop the car start dancing i know the answer is I'm probably you're probably too young, but did you Bless go clubbing you. in oh, the eighties? Totally, totally. So I, did you? I was collecting. Club? I was collecting night. I was collecting glasses in a nightclub when I was fourteen. <laughs> I was a naughty girl. Oh yeah. I mean, and certainly late eighties. I, I moved to London from Bath, where I went to secondary school, and yeah. I was at yeah at, at um, uh, places. I mean, like I was at the went to the Wag and and Westworld one nighters and Delirium. I I I'm one of those girls. I walk into a nightclub. I never even make it to the bar. Because I hit that Straight dance that floor dance and I go, floor. oh, no, no, I'm going to go and get a drink. Oh, no, I love this one. I'm one of those girls. Hey, I spent a little bit of time on podiums in New York nightclubs, but best least said about that. Better. <laughs> Van Morrison, I'm just going to sit back and let you tell me, because I know we spoke about this track and it means a lot to you, doesn't it? It does. Um, I don't remember hearing this originally in the 80s. I think I was surprised to learn it had been released in the 80s. I got to it much later. Um, but it was a track that my husband and I negotiated down. <laughs> I love this so story. As, our, as our first dance, tells you everything about our marriage. He would have had me dancing to the Kaiser Chiefs every day I love you less and less, because <laughs> he thought it'd be funny. And I'm like, it's our wedding. Going full tiara veil, everything. I what a nice song and so dance to have i told you lately by van morrison which i just think is utterly beautiful and when it plays i just sort of feel it washing over me and just a sense of calm comes over me and then i had the wonderful wonderful privilege of meeting van morrison he took us for dinner um oh, wow. uh, over it was a political things that we agreed on and he took us for dinner with a couple of other people and then invited us to his show and we told him this was the song we had at our our first uh, our what first wedding our first dance <laughs> i'm not planning a second wedding our first dance at our wedding and uh, yeah and, uh, and he, How i did think he react? i think to be fair a lot of people tell him that to be fair <laughs> he was very sweet and he played it at his concert and uh I think I got a little look. It, it, to me, it weirdly it makes me it makes me cry. It's so beautiful and it's such a happy song, but it always makes me feel sort of tearful with sort of with emotion at, at, at how powerful that song is. And and the, some of the the lilts in it, it just some of the piano, it just oh, it just sort of glides over you, and you sort of feel like you're being washed about in an ocean when you listen to it. And it's sort of an ocean of love. I just think it epitomizes being in love. And I must ask you about the real Julia Hollybrook. How many years have you been married? Uh, well, um, uh, n- not as many years as our daughter's been old. We did everything the wrong way round, but um, this uh, this autumn we'll have been together 20 years. Congratulations. Yeah, as he says, he could have been out uh, for, for 12 <laughs> if he committed murder. You talk about so you gush a lot. Oh, I love you know, him. I'm, I'm, I am so absurdly madly in love with my husband. He says, he thinks I do it to him just to sort of keep him on his toes. He says, <laughs> you do it just to dis... You know, dis- Discombody me. What's, what's, I can't think of the word to just sort of make him feel a little bit yeah. off, off balance. On edge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Tears for Fears. Yes. What a wonderful band. Um, the, the, yeah. Interesting you picked this song. You're the first person. Lots of people pick Tears for Fears, but this mm. song is really special. Why well, have you gone for this? This is um, Head Over Heels. I just think this is such a beautiful song. Um, I, I absolutely love it. And again, it's it's the big orchestral sound. It's it's the big sound. So different from some of their very early tracks. Mm. Um, and although I wasn't like friendly with friends with them, I was friendly with uh, Tears to Fears. The boys they they lived uh, in Bath, where I went to secondary school. Right. And we used to go to the local nightclub. Hugh Corbett from the Stranglers and Tears for Fears were were the regulars. So you knew and them then? Did you? I knew them. Yeah, they were sort of in the crowd because I was younger. I was a bit of you know I'm a total no mark. They're the big stars, but you'd see them at the bar. What and were they, they like? Very, they seemed just very normal. guys guys to be honest with you but we you know we were so proud like our, our hometown and 
and and these guys were just making it so big and uh, and we we used to go to this club moles club in bath uh, which anyone who's who's been to bath will know about and, mm-hmm. and uh, i worked in the pub above it and then we'd all go down to moles and i collected glasses there when i was far too young to even be in there and um and all the bands on the way up would play there and yeah you'd get, you'd get to see all these incredible bands and uh yeah, it was it was an exciting, fun time. So as we play this, this is I always think this is a complete mood song. As soon as the piano kicks in with this, how does it make you feel? Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, again, this is one of those songs that you could play the day after meeting the love of your life and go, oh, I am totally, I've met yes. him, I've met him. <laughs> and also, you could play it the day after the breakup, can't <laughs> so you? True. We've all had enough of those. Where you go like, oh, I loved him. <laughs> and I love tracks that make you feel all of those different things. The Toto Africa. Let's go. Yeah, let's talk about the more Let, important let's stuff. Let's talk about this. But as a journalist, I want to ask you so many questions, you know, about your career and what you've done. Oh, no, and- let's talk about Toto. Let's talk about Toto. Here's the thing. Now, this is my thing. I'm 55 years old. I've felt this for quite a long time, but certainly at 55, I don't care whether someone thinks my songs are naff or not. But they're really I not. I love the songs that I love and I don't care. And again, uh, Toto Africa is one of the songs and I'm always like teasing you guys, Paul, play Toto Africa just for me, <laughs> just for me while I'm sitting in the studio. Um, I, I remember dancing to this. Uh, I went on a safari in Africa, one of those like put up your own tent, oh, wow. you know, wash up, you do your washing, you get the, get the kindling for the fire. Yeah. It was amazing. And we were standing in a bar in Durban at the end of one of the safaris and we... I'm, I'm playing this song and everyone's singing along and I thought, oh, this this is the best place to what be to moment. listen to this. But obviously aware of the song many, many years ago. I just, I don't know. Again, it's just so evocative. But it's one of those songs that, it's like one of those sort of, oh, yeah, well, no one really likes it because it's not cool. But actually, if you're in the car, you're turning the volume yeah, up. It's irresistible, you? isn't it? Let's in excess, <laughs> need you tonight. I mean, come on. Not they even don't up make for discussion. Them like this today anymore. No, this gap year. Got myself a nice job, au pairing. Guess where? Bahamas. Whoa. I know. How did you I know. That? Um, this guy, he'd been at university with my dad, grew up in a shack, uh, and then got on to be a government minister and things. He came over a year before I finished my A levels. He said, Why don't you come over and look after my kids? I'm wow. like, I am useless with kids, but yes, game on. <laughs> so I wasn't paid a penny. I just got to live with them for free, looking after their lovely kids. Stayed in touch, obviously. And um, this was one of the tracks in the nightclub we used to go to. It was this. This had been released, I think, six months earlier, and yeah. it was. It, it was just the coolest album. He was the coolest he singer. Really was, he wasn't really he? was. Sex on legs. Uh, this track is the absolute. Need you tonight. I always you? think oh. if you were in another band in the in the late part of the eighties, and, and the moment you heard this guitar riff, it's game over, down, isn't it? Down. Gosh. Down. Yeah. I mean, it's so cool. This it track, is so isn't cool. It? Such a loss as well. Such a sad. Such a Did sad. Did you ever story. meet him? No, I no. wasn't in that world. Okay, I would have just been, you know, screaming and throwing my knickers at him. <laughs> what do you think about some of this? It's weird, actually, when you look back at some of these stars that we have lost. Your George Michael's, uh, your Michael Hodges. I mean, you know, it's kind of a, it's a strange experience, isn't it? Isn't to it? think that we're losing with the Madonna thing recently. Yeah. Who knows how her health is now? Yeah, but one exactly. by one, they start to go. And it's, well, I, I can see it with my parents when you look at you know the Beatles generation and that when they're seeing some of their big names. Uh, going, you know, David Bowie died, and, yes. you know, and these people. And, but you realize, but these people, they're they're kind of you think they're part of your life. They're part of you're just a background, the soundtrack, quite literally to your life. Yes, and and it, yeah, it's weird to think that yeah, they could not be there anymore. It's strange, isn't it? Mm. Really strange. One more song, you allow one more track. But so can I share? So we've got, yeah. we've got. I love this. So you can choose. You can only have ten on this feature. You can have Johnny Jackson when I think of you. Yeah. But, you've, but here's the thing. I sent him the Judy's five. I couldn't narrow it down anymore. Written, you two with or without you, or I still haven't found what I'm looking for. And they're all stellar tracks. I thought you, I thought I've got to have a U2 track. I've got to. And I've been listening to these three again and again. But I have kind of re fell fallen in love again with yeah. Janet Jackson. On the, this is actually the only track of hers I actually like. Oh, okay. Yeah, genuinely, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I really, really, you know, rate as a, as a top. This is a top probably record. the most rhythmic track yeah. that she's done, isn't it? Because the others were quite aggressive, weren't they? Yeah, attitude all. Yeah, know? absolutely. This is such a happy song, you know. Yeah. When I think of you, but also the, I'm sure you remember the video. Um, it was shot. Well, it was supposedly shot in just one take, and yes. it was epic. It was like West Side Story, yes. wasn't it? And it was so happy. And there's this wonderful giggle in the middle of it, and and this sort of thunderclap. Yes. And, and I. I don't know. I just love it. I don't think it's possible to not smile when you're listening to this track. This is this is being in love, being happy, being optimistic about life, and just 
embracing life and I, I love it wonderful thank you so much for doing oh, this I've really enjoyed so it much. thank I'm, you for coming on I'm going to well. go home now and I'm going to come up with another top 10 you have to have me on again soon <laughs> we'll do it next season yeah. <laughs> Julie Harley bro thank you so thank much you thank you so much